Good evening and welcome to Jerusalem News Network. I am God's Time David and I'm here with Prosper Ojimano. We now interrupt our regular program and bring you a breaking news from the heart of Jerusalem. Just a moment ago, reports have come in from the tomb of Yeshua of Nazareth, known to many as Jesus Christ. Our correspondent, Fresti, is live on the scene. Fresti, what can you tell us? I'm standing here outside, not far away from where they lay the body of Christ after his crucifixion. I found this report earlier. The news is spreading like wildfire, as witnesses have discovered the tomb empty, with the stone that sealed it rolled away. Yeshua, a revered teacher and healer, was crucified under the authority of Pontius Pilate just days ago. His teaching of love and forgiveness gave him a significant following among the Jewish community here in Jerusalem. However, his radical teaching also led to clashes with religious authority who viewed him as a threat to their established order. Now, with the news of his empty tomb, speculation runs rampant. Various accusations have occurred regarding the disappearance of Yeshua's body. Some claim that the woman who discovered the empty tomb simply went to the wrong location. Others suggest that Joseph of Arimathea, the man who provided his tomb, may have stolen the body to prevent further disturbance. Oh, thank you, Fresti. Um, with us here is Deborah. Uh, unfortunately, uh, Rabbi Solomon declined the invite to attend today's discourse. Um, Deborah, um, what about the theory that Jesus never truly died, but his, uh, he was merely swooned and later revived? Huh. Well, thank you for that question. You see, while many um, entertain this ridiculous notion they are ignorant of the overwhelming evidence of his death and the preparation for his burial. I mean, let's say he did survive. He would have been in such a weak state to make it practically impossible for him to then come back later victorious, conquering the grave and the death. And what about the claim that the disciples stole his body? <laughs> You see, this accusation is quite laughable because they fail to recognize that Joseph of Arimathea and the Roman authorities placed guards, heavily armed guards for that matter, to stay in front of his tomb to make it practically impossible to go to his tomb, steal the body, all without recognition. So where this accusation comes from is beyond me. Thank you so much, Deborah, for taking out your time to share your thoughts with us tonight. And um, of course, we'll continue to monitor the situation and we'll bring you updates as the stories develop. In the meantime, thank you everyone for joining us tonight. Thank you, Prosper. Thank you. And I hope you have a good Easter. Good evening. Good evening. Risen, he's risen, forever glorified.